Welcome to the ASUS X570 Motherboard Buyer's Guide. Now, this time, AMD has really knocked it out of the park with an incredible chipset. We have CPUs up to 16 cores. This is bridging the gap between mainstream and high-end desktops. We also have PCIe Gen 4, preparing us for the next generation of performance in both storage and graphics power. Now, this has led us to create our most diverse lineup of motherboards we've ever made in our history for AMD. And that means there's something for everyone, whether you're a gamer, a content creator, or a normal Joe looking to build a new PC, there's definitely something you'll be interested in here. Now, let's take a look at some of the common features we have to offer, and then we'll get down into each board's specifics. First thing I want to point out is the power delivery. We've really beefed it up from the low end all the way to our premium boards here. We want to make sure we can handle up to 16 core CPUs. So we've made sure even the low end boards are definitely equipped to handle that. We have teamed power stages on all the boards, no phase doublers here. And the reason is because we want to be really fast. When that CPU goes from idle to suddenly demanding a lot of power across many cores, we need to be really fast when we deliver that power. And so we've done that with the teamed power stages. We've also opted for high layer counts in the PCB. So even on our low end boards, we haven't skimped out. We don't have any four layer PCBs here as you might see from other manufacturers. We've gone with six layer PCBs on even on our lowest end boards. And that gives us a few benefits. The first is PCIe Gen 4 compliance. So we're already prepared for all the current devices that are PCIe Gen 4 and we're ready for whatever might come to the market later. So you're a bit future-proof there, which is really important. We also have improved thermal dissipation. So the extra layers of PCB are gonna help draw heat away from those critical components. And finally, we have more memory stability. This is especially important if you're overclocking. Now, another common feature, and something you've probably already noticed, is that all of the boards have active cooling on the chipset. Why is this? Well. This chipset, compared to the last generation, has almost double the bandwidth. So it's running a little hotter and the active cooling is gonna prevent throttling, prevent performance throttling, no matter how much storage you load up your system with. So it's really important, especially if you're gonna load all those slots with next-gen storage. Another feature these boards all have in common is five-way optimization. This is some really powerful software we've developed that automatically overclocks your build specifically for your build. So the way it works is it runs your system through a series of stress tests and gives you the best overclock for your components. It even allows you to tune your fan profiles automatically. And you can decide if you want your fans to be dependent on your GPU or your CPU or even a hybrid combination of both. That's really powerful stuff you won't find with a competition. In addition, we have some amazing onboard headers across these boards, which automatically detect whether you're using a DC fan or a PWM fan, allowing you to get the best performance no matter what type of fan you buy. Now, if you're someone who likes to manually tweak and tune your system, the ASUS UEFI makes it extremely easy. We have all the features you could ever dream of, and we make them very accessible and really easy. So if you wanna manually tweak your CPU settings, your, your memory timings, you can easily do that from inside the BIOS. Now we have about a dozen boards and we've split them into five distinct series. The first series we're gonna start off with today is the Tough Gaming series. Now this is built for people who value durability. So we've taken the lessons we've learned from our high-end motherboards and we brought some of those components and some of those features that are focused on durability all the way down into the tough gaming motherboards. Another thing we've done is we've designed these to be great for first time builders. So if you are building a PC, it's your very first one. We wanna make sure all the components work together. You don't wanna buy a graphics card that doesn't work with your motherboard or RAM that's not compatible. So what we've done is we have the tough alliance program where we work with third parties to make sure that all their tough alliance components work with our tough gaming motherboards. So you can be sure when you make a tough build, everything's going to work together seamlessly. And that's what tough is all about. So we have two tough gaming boards. We have the 
Tough Gaming X570 Plus and X570 Plus with Wi-Fi. The Tough boards come with some really cool features related specifically to durability in line with the Tough series as a whole. The first is military grade caps and chokes. This gives us really clean, pure power delivery. We also have really beefy heat sinks, which of course helps us keep temperatures low. Moving on down the board, we can see we have a safe slot PCIe slot. This is a reinforced slot. If you have a really heavy graphics card, or if you're doing something like transporting the build, you're less likely to suffer any catastrophic failure when you have that safe slot. In addition, we have DTS custom audio. So these are gaming boards. And what the DTS custom package allows you to do is fine tune your audio profile based on what type of game you're playing. So if you wanna highlight the enemy footsteps in your FPS game, or have a great engine sound if you're playing a racing game, you're able to achieve that very easily, the DTS custom audio. We also have ESD protection. Now, of course, we recommend you are grounded whenever you're doing a build, but if there's any accidental static electricity discharge, your critical components will be protected in many cases. Finally, we have two M.2 slots. So they've both been positioned in a way that's away from component hotspots in order to maximize their performance. The lower slot even has a heatsink. So if you're using that next gen storage, you'll still be able to maintain peak performance with that drive. The next series we have is the Prime series. And this is really for kind of normal human beings who just want a computer that's focused on getting things done, focused on productivity. So there are two boards. The first is the Prime X570-P. And this is a really solid board. It has Dr. Moss power stages. These are powerful enough to drive all of the Ryzen CPUs, even the 16 core CPUs that are coming to the market. So don't worry, any Ryzen CPU, you'll definitely be able to handle it with this board. This board also comes with Optimem, which gives us better routing for traces, which is going to give us more stable memory. If you are just looking for system stability or you're going to be overclocking your RAM, Optimem is going to be a definite feature that you want to watch out for. Now, the other board we have is the Prime X570 Pro. And this is a slight step up from the P. You're gonna get a little more in terms of IO. So you'll see there's an extra PCIe slot. So if you do wanna plug in extra, an extra storage device or something like a capture card, it'll be a little bit easier for you to do that on the Pro. You're also gonna notice we've included an M.2 heatsink on the lower M.2 slot with the Pro. So if you are going to look to benefit as much as possible from a PCIe Gen 4 storage device, you're definitely going to want to consider the Pro as well. Another series we have is the WS series. And WS stands for workstation, and that is exactly what these boards are designed to be. For the X570 chipset, we have the WS X570 Ace. And this board is really solid if you're looking to get a lot of work done, if you're a professional, if you're someone who's a content creator, a scientist, you're doing some uh, financial analysis or something like that, this is gonna be a really solid board to give you a powerful workstation. Now, some of the features it has are a U.2 slot. This is gonna allow you to connect to enterprise class drives. We also have three PCIe slots. So this is the only board across our whole lineup that can run a by eight by eight by eight configuration. So if you are looking to have, you know, three GPUs or uh, a kind of unique storage situation, this is gonna be a board that you're going to definitely want to look at. The board is also compatible with ECC memory. So if you're running mission critical tasks, you're definitely going to want to get ECC RAM and this board will work with that. Finally, it has a really nice black aesthetic. It's black on black on black and it looks really, really nice. So if you're just someone who is really anti-color, you want a really sleek looking black design, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out the WS board. So next up, we have the ROG Strix series. And this is for core gamers. We trickle down the gaming features from our super high-end ROG boards, uh, features like the integrated IO shield. We have three Strix boards here to talk about today. The first is the Strix X570F. This is a really solid entry into the Strix series. 
First, I'll talk about the cooling we have. There are two heat sinks here and they're actually connected with an eight millimeter heat pipe. And this is really gonna keep things cool. Now on the other boards, we saw that we have plenty of power delivery to handle high core count CPUs. But here on the Strix, we're really focused at enabling overclocking. Now you'll notice that this board, as well as the other Strix boards, have a really nice monochrome design. And this aesthetic look gives you the chance to customize the build to your own preference. So you can use features like Aura Sync to have some RGB and customize that accent color to match your other peripherals or just to suit your own preference. Another thing we wanna ensure with the Strix boards is that we really streamline the gaming experience for you. So we include features like Game First 5, which works in conjunction with ROG routers to actually prioritize your gaming packets on your network. So if you have the ROG router and you have the Strix board, you're gonna automatically get better networking performance while you're gaming. We also have a feature called BIOS Flashback, which allows you to update the BIOS via USB. You don't even need the RAM or CPU installed, you just need power to the board. A really convenient feature if you're looking to update the BIOS of a new build. Finally, the F board also has two M.2 heatsinks. We know that gamers want to run on high-speed storage for both their operating system and their game storage. So if you do plan to have two next-gen M.2 drives, you'll be able to run them without any performance throttling. Now, if you're really looking for Wi-Fi in your gaming build, you're gonna wanna step up to the X570E. This Strix board is gonna give you Wi-Fi, but not just any Wi-Fi, it's actually Wi-Fi 6. This is the latest 802.11ax standard. Now, Asus as a company actually has amazing coverage of the AX standard already with a bunch of router options ready to go. So if you are looking for the latest gen Wi-Fi, you're definitely going to want to go with the e-board and make sure you get a Wi-Fi 6 router to match. The X570E also comes with a postcode display, so you can quickly identify or troubleshoot any issues you may be having when turning on the system. You'll also get a 2.5G Ethernet port as well as a one gigabit Ethernet port. Now, we also have a really special board, which is the Strix X570i. We've taken all of the key features of the full-size Strix boards and brought them down into a compact mini ITX form factor. So if you're looking for a high performance, a small gaming build that can run all of the latest Ryzen CPUs, you'll have no issues getting top performance from this really small I board. Now, if you are looking to create a gaming slash HTPC build, this is also gonna be a phenomenal option. It has the Wi-Fi 6 that we just talked about, and it has a built-in HDMI 2.0 port. Now, at the very top end of the stack, we have our high-end ROG motherboards, the Crosshair series. This series is designed for true hardware enthusiasts who are really looking to push the platform to the absolute limit. We have some really impressive features across the Crosshair series, including OptumM3, which is a proprietary hardware tweak which gives us the best performance and stability gains we've ever seen with memory. With Ryzen 3000 CPUs, you have a lot of flexibility in the memory space. So what OptumM3 allows you to do is tweak for extremely high frequencies if you're trying to break records, or if you wanna run at the performance sweet spot of DDR4 3400, you'll be able to dial in some really tight timings. We also have a differential voltage sensing circuit. And this is also really helpful when we want to tweak the system's performance. Normally, when you measure the voltages coming from the CPU, it's not quite accurate. The actual measurement is taking place somewhere outside of the CPU. And so you're not really going to get a precise readout in your software. What this allows you to do is actually get that reading directly from the CPU, which makes the overclocking or tuning experience much more intuitive and precise. Like all of our X570 boards, the Crosshair series comes with FlexKey. This is a really convenient feature that allows you to remap the reset button either on the motherboard or on the chassis itself to another convenient function. For example, you could set it to go directly to BIOS. 
or you could set it to turn off the lights on your motherboard. Now, exclusively with the crosshair boards, you can actually go directly into safe boot with the reset button, saving you a bit of time when you're doing overclocking. Starting off the series, we have the Crosshair 8 Hero. This board is really built for performance. We have 16 IR3555 power stages, high permeability alloy chokes, and solid Japanese capacitors for high performance all around. We also have a lot of convenient features for building and for overclocking. For example, a clear CMOS button that makes it really easy, just click, 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 clear, reset, and dial in your next overclock. Now, we also move up into hi-fi audio with the Supreme FX 1220. We've also included the renowned ESS ES9023 DAC. So if you want to plug in an uh, extreme headset or some hi-fi exotic cans, you'll really be able to benefit from the better source. We also have a Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi version. So if you do want Wi-Fi, just make sure you look for that in the model name. Now, moving up the series, we have the Crosshair 8 Formula, and this board is all about water cooling. So if you're going to build something that's a showpiece, you're probably going to be doing some custom liquid cooling, and this board is designed for you. So we have the Crosschill EK3, which is co-designed with EK and allows you to liquid cool the VRM solution. So if you're pushing a build to the absolute extremes, you're definitely gonna benefit from liquid cooling in that area. Now, to further support liquid cooling, we also have dedicated headers and temperature sensing. So you'll be able to track and monitor things like flow and coolant temperature to ensure you're getting the best performance out of your loop. The formula also comes with Live Dash OLED display, a 1.3 inch OLED display that allows you to do a lot of interesting functions. When you're booting the system, it will tell you if there's any problem with the CPU, GPU, RAM, uh, or even your boot device. And once the system's running, you can actually use it to monitor vital system information, or you can run some custom GIFs for a little unique aesthetic flair. The formula also comes with a solid steel backplate, which really helps reinforce the board. So if you are you know, installing a liquid cooling system, you don't have to worry about any torque damaging the board. It's also going to draw some heat away from the PCB, and let's be honest, it looks pretty cool. Now, finally, we have the Crosshair 8 Impact. This is a really special board. We took the high performance and amazing feature set of the full-size ATX Crosshair boards, and we've crammed it down into a mini DTX form factor. Now, this isn't quite ITX, it's DTX, which means we've extended the board down into about another slot uh, of length below where an ITX board would normally cut off, which means this will fit in most ITX chassis. But some of those really, really small chassis that use a riser for the graphics cards may not be able to accommodate the DTX size. So just make sure you check ahead of time. The reason we went with DTX is because we need a lot of space for the socket, but we still don't want to sacrifice any of the performance or the features that we have in the high-end crosshair board. In order to have the high-performance M.2 drives, we actually use a SODIM slot, so SODIM.2. So this allows us to put two M.2 drives in a SODIM riser card. So we don't take up any extra space, and we can put a beefy heatsink on both of those M.2 drives. So you can still benefit from the high-performance next-gen storage. Despite the small size of the board, we've still managed to include Wi-Fi 6, and the super premium audio chips that we found on the Crosshair 8. So if you're really looking for the absolute highest performance you can pack into a small chassis, this is the board for you. All right, that wraps up our buyer's guide for the Asus X570 motherboard lineup. We have a ton of boards. I hope you guys found something that's perfect for you. If you have any questions or comments for us, go ahead and put those down in the description below, or even better, reach out to us on our new Discord channel. I will put a link down there. Now, if you like this video and you wanna see more from ROG, give us a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. I'm Steven, and we will see you next time.